ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another unboxing. Today, I have a very special unboxing. Uh, full disclosure, this is my watch that I do wear on a regular basis, but I just um, found the box that it all came in. All the materials, um, I literally took the watch out of the box and just started wearing it. And um, the box pretty much will have everything that came with the, uh, the watch itself. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Omega. Uh, this is the Omega Speedmaster, Dark Side of the Moon. Reference number 9410-9558. Um, and as you can see, it comes in this nice big cardboard box, which is then followed by another cardboard box, and then the actual box itself. So, without further ado, let's get this unboxing on. Right off the bat, you have one of these um, kind of like lift-off lids. The backs come out, and the box itself comes out as well. This is just a regular cardboard box, nothing special. Here you have the Omega box that it comes in. And this is the outside box. Nothing special about this either. 9558, which is the reference number. And this was a limited release. Um, this is the, um, the Omega Speedmaster, which uh, the case, I believe, is made out of a ceramic composite. And I will show you that to you as well. If we can get this box open. They like to make these very snug. And Omega always produces really, really nice um, boxing materials and stuff like that. All right, we're being difficult today. Hopefully it is the day after Christmas. Hopefully Santa was good to you guys. Um, let me know if you guys got any nice watches in, um, if Santa gave you anything different. Holy smokes, this thing's putting up a fight. I think a lot of it has to do with how I re, uh, how I put all the paperwork back in the original box. Kind of squished it all in there. And, um, I'm gonna try and edit out maybe a minute of this struggle. Because the struggle is real. We are definitely having some issues getting this box off, but we are there. Okay, so now that we have the top of that box off, boom. I did purchase this through a third-party vendor. I am not affiliated with them, nor am I endorsing them in any way, but they definitely come through with watches, and their prices cannot be beat. So right off the bat, you have the instruction manual. See, this is where the box is bulging out because I just shoved all this material back in. You get the plastic bag, which all this stuff comes in with. You get the operating manual right here. You have a dust or cloth bag. And this is a pretty nice bag. It's got the Omega symbol embossed on it right there, if you can see it. It's almost, um, it is definitely a polyester bag, but it feels very velvety. Let's put this off to the side. I got a dust cloth, maybe a presentation cloth, I guess you would call it. It says Omega, lined in red. We'll use that to show the watch if you want. You get your warranty card. Let's see if we can get this out of here. What's with that? Shows the reference number, as well as the caliber, 9300. And again, Omega. And then you have the actual box itself. So this is the cardboard box. It is lined. There is like kind of like a dust cloth on top of the original box. And this is like a piano black finish. Like, I don't know if you can see that. There's, look at that. You can see everything. I mean, it's just got like this mirror gloss finish. Um, I want to say it's wood. I'm not honestly sure it could be. No, it's got to be wood. I can't imagine that this would be like a, um, like a, you know, a composite, like a vinyl or not vinyl, but um, a veneer. It could be a veneer, but it does definitely does feel like wood. And so you get the box itself. 
gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. See everything. See my Christmas tree in the background. Beautiful. It's lined on the bottom with like a like a velvet. And to open the box now, you press this deployment button right here to unlock it. And then it opens up just like this. I'm not sure if that's a serial number or what. That's one of these tags. Basically, you can see the watch. I'll take it out for you. It comes with an Omega tag. I guess it's a serial number, whatnot. And again, like I said, this is my daily wear watch, so the band is definitely worn. Um, I will eventually replace this. The replacement ones from Omega are kind of pricey. They're about $230 for just the leather strap, not including the buckle, obviously. So you just get one piece of leather, one piece of leather. And this is leather over like a, like the, um, like almost like the paracord material. I forgot what they call it. But um, it's not a, not like the NATO material. It's kind of like a, um, leather with like a polyester exterior i forgot the name there, there's a specific name someone throw it in the comments below for me as you can see it's well worn like i said this is supposed to be all red stitching and it is filthy dirty it's got to be scrubbed clean you know but i don't really like to clean it either because it is leather you know it has to be maintained pretty well but yeah there you have it there's the watch you know, and you have a dust bag. So if you want to travel with it, you throw it in the bag. You know, you've got the cloth, the cleansing cloth, or you can use it as like a display cloth. And I have it right there. If you look inside the box, you also get an idea. That this is a pretty special one. Omega Speedmaster, Dark Side of the Moon. And this is really a really nice box. This piece lifts out completely. So this is actually not a bad, uh, not a bad watch box. You can fit stuff in here. You can reuse it. You know. It's just all the paperwork, all the plastic that it came in, and there you go. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, just in case you were wondering, I am also wearing my Omega uh, Seamaster. This is the James Bond release. I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit glary, but if you could see. It's very hard to get this thing to focus right. But it's got the, um, the face has like the waves, almost like obviously the sea. But this is the James Bond edition release, not the special one with the 007 on the hand. I didn't really like that, um, the hands movement with the 007 on the end of it. Um, I kind of like it like this because this is, you know, it's a timeless design. It's not related, you know, it is James Bond related, but not to the point where it's like, you know, you're a diehard, uh, you know, fan of James Bond. So, hope you like this video. Let me show you the back of this one. I didn't even get to show you guys the movement in the back. Um, and if you did like this video and you want to see more unboxing videos of just random stuff, please give me a thumbs up. Comment in the comments section below if you have any questions or concerns. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And um, hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching.